Good morning, traders. Well, US equities finished in the red on Wednesday's session. Uh, it was a very volatile session with some big moves in all risk assets, which was unsurprising with uh, probably the most important FOMC meeting we've seen in the last 12 months. Um, the FOMC raised rates 25 basis points as expected. There was an initial rally in equities and, and a big drop in the US dollar as the accompanying statement was seen as dovish uh, for rate hikes going forward. Um, the big change in language was uh, being further rate hikes will be necessary to may be necessary. So this was seen as um, a dovish signal for the market and uh, obviously saw a big drop in the US dollar and a steep rally in equities. Uh, it didn't last long though as it um, as in previous meetings, the Powell presser is where he emphasised further progress on inflation was still needed um, and the committee was prepared to do more on rates if necessary. Um, another factor was Treasury Secretary J Janet Yellen, who was testifying in front of Congress at the same time um, and stated that they were not considering expanding their um, deposit uh, insurance facility. So this saw a big, a dramatic, a dramatic change in, in equities, which which sold off, and, and the U.S. dollar as well, which um, which rallied pretty strongly on this. This saw the Aussie dollar, U.S. dollar pair, give up all its gains for the session. Uh, the euro, after spiking above 109, gave back quite a bit of that too, finishing about the mid 108s. Uh, gold gained strongly, moved up to uh, up around $30 an ounce, um, recouped most of yesterday's losses. So this was the initial spike on US dollar weakness and um, it held held its gains pretty strongly on the uh, the comments from Janet Yellen which, which gave the market some worry about the safety of deposits so we saw a flight to safety to gold as well. WTI oil rallied, briefly getting above $70 a barrel. Um, there were some reports that OPEC Plus were going ahead with their production cuts of 2 million barrels a day up until the end of 2023. Later today, there's more central bank action. Uh, bank of England, Swiss National Bank. Bank of England expected to hike 25 basis points. Swiss, Nas Swiss National Bank, 50 basis points. But I think, um, as with the Fed, most of the action will be seen on the statements coming to that decision. So any franc or pound traders, uh, watch out for that one.